Thanks for joining us on our tour of Freedom of the Seas. This was our first cruise together. We're going to start on deck three aft, where you'll find the main dining room. We ate, we ate dinner here every night. Heading forward, you come to the art gallery. Next is the photo gallery, where you can purchase photo souvenirs from your trip. Midships is Studio B, where you can ice skate during the day. It also hosts the ice show at night, which was really spectacular. Late one night, be sure to check out the Crazy Quest, an adult-themed, team-based event that's just hilarious. Moving up to Deck 4, is the second level of the main dining room. Moving forward, Valeros takes up both the port and starboard sides of the Centrum. to the Centrum is Playmakers Sports Bar and Arcade. Where you can catch the latest game, play foosball or pool while having a drink and some food. Just so you know, the food menu is at an additional cost though. Beyond Playmakers is the Royal Casino, which we're not really supposed to film in. But just past that, on the starboard side is the nautical themed schooner bar, which features live music, trivia, and other events. side is Izumi Hibachi and Sushi, a specialty restaurant that we plan to enjoy on our next cruise. So, the Royal Theater, this is where uh, we're going to watch Once Upon a Time. I'm pretty excited to see it, and it's a first come, first serve, so. Fully forward on deck four is the Royal Theater. We saw a number of shows here. Moving on to deck five forward is the Star Lounge. We didn't attend any events here, but it looks like a really neat venue. Just outside of the Star Lounge is the library and card room. A really quiet place that you can go to play games, read, or just relax. It is somewhat out of the way and never appeared to be crowded. Heading aft, we come to the Royal Promenade, which features lots of shops, Sorrento's Pizza, the Bull and Bear Pub, Ben and Jerry's, Cafe Promenade. So you guys probably just saw the bull and the bear for, you know, like beer and stuff that we're all about. But now we have vintages, the wine bar. I'll probably be here at some point for sure. <laughs>
can also book a cruise at the next cruise desk for the best prices on your next vacation. The Shore Excursions desk is also here. Just beyond, you'll find guest services. These folks can help you with just about any issue you have on board. Across from guest services is the R Bar, serving up your favorite cocktails. So we decided to stop for a bit and have a little coffee or tea. And of course I don't drink coffee. And so I got some hot tea and I am very happy and I, I crunched it up, but I'm very happy that they use Bigelow tea. Uh, because I prefer Bigelow tea, so that makes me happy. As a tea drinker, when we're on traveling and on the road, I bring my own tea because I can't always find somewhere that actually has tea. So, cheers. Oh, we got an elephant. Oh, he's so cute. I love the way the trunk goes up. <laughs> First towel animal together. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on up to deck 11 aft is the Windjammer Buffet. We had breakfast here just about every day. Also located here is Chops Grill, the Steakhouse, and Giovanni's Italian Kitchen. Forward of the Windjammer is Splashaway Bay, the kids' play area. It also has two hot tubs so the parents can relax while keeping an eye on the kiddos. Next to the main pool and sports pool, where there are lots of outdoor activities. And of course, the lime and coconut bar. Further forward is the adults only solarium with two cantilevered hot tubs. One on each side of the ship. Moving forward is the Vitality at Seas Fitness Center where you can work off some of that food you ate at the buffet. Starting at deck 12 forward is the Vitality at Sea Spa, which unfortunately we didn't get to tour. Outside you can find the running track and the upper sun decks midships. Towards the aft is Adventure Ocean, a great place for kids to have fun and adults to get a little bit of time off. Outside you'll find Johnny Rockets, the retro style diner serving hamburgers, fries and milkshakes. Up to deck 13 aft is the sports court. where you can play basketball, tennis, pickleball, and more. There's also a rock climbing wall. Really aft is the Flow Rider Surfing Simulator and the Perfect Storm Water Slides. no path fully forward on deck 13 so you have to go back down to 12 and then take the stairs up to 13. There you'll find Freedom Dunes, the mini golf course. 
We really enjoyed that on this cruise. 14 is another difficult area to access, but it hosts the Diamond Lounge. Oliver or Twist Bar and the Sweet Lounge. <laughs>